I'd like to publish my family history that traces six generations of artists in an Irish Catholic family from Antrim, Ireland in the early 1800s to my father's passing away in Chicago in 2012. Here's an example of Dad's 1955 artistic coverage of the Emmett Till trial in Sumner, yeah. Mississippi. Relax. Let it flow. Stay alert. Where's the story? Nah, the segregation in the courtroom or the press section is not new. His pencil captured the body language of a coiffed and elegantly dressed Mrs. Bryant in her hand-sized spiral notebook. The heavy heat in the crowded room evaporated. He focused. Fourteen non-sympathetic and arrogant white male jurors set the tone with a wash of ink. Their likeness and lackadaisical body language slumped in wooden chairs. Then it happened. Can you identify the man who came into your door? Graphite that scratched the texture of paper interrupted the vacuum of breathing as Moe's Wright stood up. With a shaking arm, he pointed to the white men, Roy Bryant and J.W. Milan. There he is. Dad's pencil flew to capture the tension in the air. He just shot 300 years of U.S. history. Dad's lines captured the electricity in the room in the form of the shaky, unstretched and elongated arm, the force of gesture in the stands, the suspenders on the pants. Then, a loud, lurching thud as Moe's right sat, told what strength it took him to stand, point his finger, and state two words. Please visit franklinmcmahon.net for more information.